hell is he thinking right now? I am the greatest botanist on this planet. I'm already on Team Martian because the protagonist is a botanist. He's the hero of the film, and we always get overlooked. Luckily, I'm a botanist. A lot of this stuff is really, really legitimate. So potatoes are an amazing uh, and very plausible thing that you could grow in that environment because they produce huge amounts of calories for very small areas of land, one of the largest calories per square meters of any type of crop. They also require minimal processing, so all of that's legitimate. And what's even more legitimate is we now know that humans can live off very little else other than potatoes for up to two to three years at a stretch. They're a comparatively complete food, so they contain all sorts of micronutrients which other grains like rice or wheat don't necessarily have. So all of that's great. However, he gets the potatoes, not from tissue samples or seeds that a botanist might have in his lab. He gets them shrink-wrapped and then goes to plant them. If a plant is shrink-wrapped, it has to be cooked because it can't respire without oxygen and carbon dioxide around them. So those potatoes are cooked and therefore dead tubers. There is no way he could have grown them from that packet. And you know what's so infuriating is they get 99% of the stuff really right, which Hollywood normally just doesn't bother with. And just to fall down on that tiny, tiny plot point, I mean, just hire a botanist, I'm available, Hollywood.